Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. I am a little bit under the weather today, so I do apologize if my voice is a little quiet or if I sound off, but let's get into this video. I'm super excited. We're gonna be talking about my Notion setup that I've come up with, and this is really a framework that anyone can implement, and it's very uh, diverse, so you can change it around and you can fit it to whatever needs that you might have within Notion. There's lots of different functions that Notion has. For instance, it could be a task tracker, it could be a shopping list, it could be a note-taking app, it could be a place to store your SOPs, it could really be anything. So this system is going to adapt to any sort of Notion functions that you might use. And let me show you exactly what I mean by that. We're gonna start out with a quick presentation going through what my system is all about and how to implement it. Now, before we get started with this, please leave a quick like so that the YouTube algorithm can push this video out. Comment below at any point in this video if you have any questions or any remarks. And also subscribe if you wanna see more videos on the Notion Your Way framework. Let's get into this. The best way to start out with the Notion Your Way framework is to try to list out everything that you're going to need in your Notion account, everything that you wanna keep track of. There's actually this trend that I've seen with every single database that I've created in Notion, and that's that there's a capturing process, so there's taking information in. After capturing, there's an organization process, so that's just getting the information labeled how it needs to be labeled, positioned where it needs to be, and tagged with what it needs to be tagged with, for instance. So we capture the information, we organize the information, and then we utilize the information. And that's what this Notion Your Way system that I've created is built on. And I'm going to show you what the setup actually looks like in Notion. But first, let's talk about some of the things that I'm capturing, organizing, and utilizing. One is goals. Uh, I think it's important to have a place for your goals if you want to bring everything together. Um, it's nice to be able to see your North Star on a daily basis. Also SOPs, these are standard operating procedures. So these are basically little tutorials that I can send out. It might be a document, it might be a document with a video, but I can send this out to my team and they can get on the same page as me. Also, mood tracking on a daily basis. This is important to me because I wanna see what I did on specific days that improved my mood and my overall wellness on that day. Recipes, I like to keep track of any recipes or instruction manuals for one, you know, creating uh, some of my favorite dishes, some of my favorite foods, but also so that I can uh, put something together if I needed like instructions on something. So recipes are great to have. Tasks are pretty much the derivative of your goals. So when you have tasks, they're going to pretty much be the stepping stones that you need to reach your goals. So these kind of intertwine and connect. The Notion Your Way system can accommodate for uh, different sort of relational databases as well. So don't overthink that or worry about it. For instance, we also have meal plans. So if you have recipes and meal plans, these can uh, commingle in this system. Uh, and then you also have notes. So uh, this is one of the best things about Notion is note taking and creating note databases. But the thing that all of these have in common is you need to capture them, organize them, and utilize them on a regular basis. So that's what this setup is built around. So let's get into what this looks like. So the setup is made up of these simple dashboards and they perform different functions, okay? So this dashboard right here, uh, on the upper left quadrant, it has capture. So this area is used for capture and I'm gonna show you what this looks like in Notion in just a second, so bear with me. Um, but then also over in the right corner, we have sort, organize, and utilize. So this is where that goes. And then down here, we have two menus, a dashboards menu slash views menu and an all pages menu. So these will stay the same across all of our pages, but these will change, okay? So based on what dashboard we're in, these will change. For instance, if we are on our note-taking dashboard, you might see a way to capture notes right here and then a way to sort, organize, and utilize your notes here. And then it would show the rest of your dashboards and your pages right here. Same with meal prepping. So right here, we might have a way to capture or create new meal plans or recipes. And then on this side, we would have a way to sort, organize, and utilize them. Uh, and then task management. So maybe here it would be a good way to uh, add new tasks or create new tasks. And over here, we'd be able to sort, organize, and utilize and look back on our tasks and see you know, how they might have gone. Okay, so let's look at what this looks like in action. 
This is my daily dashboard, and this is where I keep track of my tasks and my daily mood. Okay, so right here we have a template button that creates new uh, new page content every day and they're just these to-do lists and I'll actually show you this in action in a moment but I just wanted to walk through this in this presentation format really quick so again we have our capture area our capture quadrant top left and then we have our sort organize and utilize so these tasks go into specific day pages and then those days get associated with different um, you know, different moods and different ratings for that particular day. And then we have our dashboards menu down here and our pages menu down here. So this is the Notion Your Way system. Now let's actually jump into Notion and I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like live in Notion. All right, so here we are on my daily dashboard and this is basically how this would work, okay? We have our capture and create section up here. So let's say that I completed all of these tasks for this day and I wanted to uh, save this particular piece of information for January 12th here. So what I would do is after I check off everything that I've done, I would go ahead and just highlight this and I would wanna make sure that this says uh, Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. Now what I would do once I have this complete is I would drag this over to this January 12th day. Now, as you can see, I already have uh, January 12th in here. So let's just say this would be the 13th, okay? So 13th, and I could just hit new and I could create an all new day. Usually I make the icon, whatever the weather is. So for January 13th, let's say it's snowy and I could enter January 13th. Now I'd also wanna add the date right here so that it's in order. And I have a few habits that I wanna keep track of. So how many cold emails did I send? Let's say I sent 10 this day. Minutes meditated, let's say I meditated for 20 minutes and I hit a 45 minute workout. And then I'm going to give it some feelings. So these are just some of the ones that I've pre-populated into here, but these are good to add to try to uh, keep track of your mood and your trends throughout the weeks, months, and years. So I'm just going to select happy, relaxed, and let's say that for this day, I was a five. Okay, so that's like a really good day. Uh, videos finished, let's say two. Notes, here I can just add a quick memo if I wanted to write anything. And down here is where this create and capture section is going to come in. So all I have to do is highlight this, drag it over to January 13th, 2022. And now I have a record of that day and I can also look back on previous days and see what I did for that day. So let's just go to like January 7th, for instance. And as you can see, uh, this day I was setting up a teleprompter and I was trying to film some videos, but I ran into some problems and I attempted to film them, but I didn't get them done. So that's why that day was a three. I had a note in there. I tried to record a video, but I started getting sick and tired, so I stopped overwhelmed and tired. So that day was a three, right? But that is how I would kind of keep track of this. And let's say January 14th rolls around, all I'd have to do is hit new day right here. I'd enter my date and then I'd write out my schedule however I wanna write it. And I could add all my to-dos for that day. And then at the end of the day, I'd check off what I got done and I'd create a January 14th right here and then I would simply drag all of this into that January 14th. So we have a really good system here for capturing and creating and then utilizing, archiving, and tracking those days. All right, so next, let's look at the next function that I actually use Notion for, and that is to keep track of different foods, recipes, and a nice meal plan. So if I go down to my dashboards quadrant here, I can go to food dashboard, and then you'll see that I have the same exact template, the sort of same sort of layout, capture and create here, utilize archive and track here, and then dashboards and pages are over here. but. On this one, it just looks a little bit different. It has a add new recipe form right here, and this is actually by a company, uh, Notion Forms, and these forms actually map to your uh, database. So you can put a name, a course type, and experience in here, and that will go into your recipes. So that's a nice way to capture right off the bat, 
And then I can utilize archive and track by using different database views right here. So as you can see, I have an ingredients sorting list. And the good thing about this is if I go over to the no ingredients, I can see which of the um, recipes that I have that don't have ingredients added yet. So this coffee cake right here. Um, that's actually just going to show all of the recipes that don't have any ingredients yet. So when it comes to organizing, it's a very useful feature, right? I can come in here, I can add all the ingredients that I need to add for this specific meal. So maybe I would need like eggs, I could add that. And then maybe I need to also get milk. And I'm sure there's some other ingredients for this but let's say that I added those ingredients and now as you can see, there are no uh, recipes left that don't have ingredients added. I can also sort through and see which ingredients are related to which recipes. So if I go to banana here, uh, you'll see that the breakfast brownie and the kale kickstart, which is a juice recipe, um, both have banana included in them. So. That way, if I have a lot of bananas on hand or something like that, I can just go in here and I can see what I can make with that. And I also see the additional ingredients that are needed for that to move forward. So this is good for ingredient sorting. It's also good for meal confidence level. So if I go to meal confidence level here, as you can see, this separates things into wish list, so different things that I haven't tried, and tried and true. So these are all the things that we have tried. And then if I go up here again, you'll see that I have a meal plan table. Okay, so this view allows me to plan for a certain day. Okay, so if I wanted to cook this beef and broccoli stir fry, I could book it in for uh, tomorrow, let's just say. And if I scroll down here to tomorrow, you'll now see that this is on the schedule for tomorrow, cooking on January 13th, 2022. So I have got this here and it's a really great way to plan. This is a great way to capture all of the new recipes that come in. And all in all, this is a great food dashboard. It serves that function. Now let's look at my notes dashboard, okay? Same theme, you're gonna notice once again, I've got the capture and create on the left side and I've got utilize archive and track on the right side. There's some different ways that I have this sorted out. So the first way is by related person. So I like to relate all my notes to a specific person and if they're not related to somebody else, then as you can see, they're related to me. I have 99 notes related to me. If I wanted to maybe go to a thought leader like Chris Hughes, he has a YouTube channel called A Nerd's World, lots of SEO information there. So I actually have some notes that I've taken that are linked to Chris Hughes' channel, A Nerd's World. Um, Brian Dean, another SEO uh, person, we have some notes from him as well. And I can click into here and I can see the specific notes that I took. I also have a view for note type. So this is actually going to give me an idea whether the note is an introspective note, meaning I just wrote it down and it kind of came out of my head um, and maybe it's just an original thought or a learning note, meaning like maybe I took notes on a lecture or a YouTube video or a course or a video plan. So these are like my video plans for YouTube. So let me show you that. So as you can see here, this is just going to be different video plans. And if I go into my introspective notes, these are just original thoughts that I have listed. And sometimes there will be somebody that's connected to that thought, um, like Sam Ovens, Elon Musk. This one has, I think, like Steve Jobs in there, and Jordan Peterson. So just a few um, notes with more than just me on them as well. And then if I wanted to create a new note, I would just go over to my capture and create quadrant and I hit new. And here I could enter the name of the note. I could add a note type, introspective note. I could add some tags. I can also add a source right here if I wanna add a link to a video or an associated book that this note might have something to do with. I can also go to related people and if I'm the only one who's related to this, I can at least add Carter Sirach in here and that way it will get added into that list of um, basically just different notes related to different people. Could do like bullet points, hierarchies of bullet points. 
So now I've got a note and it's got all these different um, properties associated with it so that it's nice and organized. And this capture and create section is only going to show the notes that I've taken today and yesterday. But the nice thing about this as well is I can drag these notes that are in my recent notes into something on the right side. So let's say this wasn't actually an introspective note, maybe it was client work. So what I would do is I drag it into client work. So now if I go over to name of note, as you can see it changed the note type to client work. So this dashboard works really well as you're moving from a capture and create mindset over to an organizing mindset. We started with the presentation and I'm gonna end on the presentation. So just to recap and review, we have all of these different things that we wanna keep track of, that we wanna capture, organize, and utilize. So those can be put into Notion as different functions. And every time you wanna add a new function, that just looks like adding a new dashboard and thinking about how you can best capture and organize slash sort that idea. So for note taking, if you remember right, I embedded my note taking database right here. And then over here, I was able to sort it by using different views. For meal prepping, I had a nice form right here where I can input new recipes. And that was actually a third party app, but I had that form in there, so that was nice. And that way I could just type quickly into the form if I had a new recipe, but I could also sort through and see my different meal plans, my different uh, meals based on different tags that might be associated with them, etc. And then I would also have, uh, you know, different tasks in here. On my daily dashboard, I had that automatic template that would create a list of tasks. And then over here, I could track my mood and I could associate those tasks with a day. Remember, you want to have a area to capture, an area to sort, organize, and utilize, a dashboard menu, and also a pages menu. This will be the first of many videos for the Notion Your Way system, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment below, and let me know your thoughts, and then subscribe if you wanna see more Notion videos just like this one. All right, peace.